What is up everybody, Moritz here. I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and so often I get asked by my clients to build them comparison tables like this from Sweet Dreams. It's a really nice looking one. And the reality is I do often charge a lot of money for it, but uh, the truth is actually that you can do that yourself without having to code a single line. And I'm gonna reveal the secret to you today because I do use an app for it called Section Store. It's a component library with over 300 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components. And the one we will be having a look at today is called Comparison Table 6 inside the app. As you can see right here, those are all the customizations you can do to the whole block. And there are different ways you can style this. And you can get this for a one time fee of $9 compared to what I charge a client. It's around like $80 an hour. This is a pretty good deal, I'd say. And it's a one-time charge, so only one time, $9. And yeah, you can customize the whole thing as well. So it's a big time and money saver. And after successfully getting the sectioner, just head back to the My Sections area of the app where we're gonna be looking for the one. So this is the one, just add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Live theme, but it does work on every theme, so don't worry about that. Also, the whole thing is fully responsive, but I'm gonna show you this in a second. So let's quickly just open up the theme editor right here. Let this bad boy load up. And yeah, like I said already, there are many other sections inside the app as well. So if you have some time on yourselves and already like this one, just feel free to check it out. And yeah, like I said already, we will do the comparison table six today. I'm just gonna hide this one. I already did off screen. And yeah, let's scroll all the way down, click to add section, type in comparison six. There we have the one we will be focusing on today. Let it load up real quick. Scroll all the way down. And here you can already see a default version, which pretty much looks like the one we've seen in the beginning of the video. And now I'm going to show you how you can customize that thing, because I do think you have a really nice idea already of how you want to do this. Here you can change the text. So instead of that, you could do our brand versus other brands. As you can see, it's getting updated live. You can even change the font itself, change the size, and pretty much everything you see here is customizable. Here you can change the text underneath. And yeah, I'm not gonna go into detail too much. You can even set your own icon. I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of this. So I'll just do a really random example. For example, the Nike icon. So here the Nike icon is placed right now. You just have to play around a little bit with the size and everything because it's gonna be a square. And yeah, I'm just gonna continue showing what I think is nice. So you can see how many columns, if you have more than two actually, you can add a couple more where the active one is actually going to be. And here you have a couple other things you can customize. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into detail too much. And here you can see all the colors you can customize. For example, if I would wanna change the background color, that is something I could easily do here. And now I also want to set, for example, a different table border color. I want to do it in completely black and this changed as well. That's the border color I just changed. For example, the heading color, if I want to have it in yellow, that would also be possible. And now I want to show you how you can change the blocks. So everything you see right here is also changeable. So let's just start from the top. So here we have the first four, those are those blocks right here. So if I would wanna change one of those, instead of fast, I do quicker, you can see. And here, if I click on add block, I can either decide between a list item or a table row. So if I click on list item, that's gonna appear. But if I click on uh, add block and decide table row, another one of those is going to get added. So just to give you an idea how this whole thing works, and if I click on one of those, you can see right here, optimize dozing, first column value. I do something like that. You can even add something there. You can add an image as well if you don't want that. If you wanna cross, it's also possible. So yeah, everything here is fully customizable. I think the best way to do it is just to play around a little bit and you can even add more table rows with customizing it inside the block. But yeah, let's have a final look at it in the live version. And then I hope I could give you a quick and nice overview of how easy it actually is to get 
this comparison table for your very own store and have all the customization options in the world. And with less than five minutes, we're already done. Hope you guys found that useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.